In this video, we'll be installing a vertically mounted J-frame main breaker onto an NF panel board. The first step in the process is to remove the lugs from the bus bars of the panel board. Next, we'll install the rail extensions. The small piece is a splice. This goes into the rail until the small hole lines up with the small hole and the large hole lines up with the large hole. Repeat on the other side. Next, we'll place the main breaker pan onto the rail and we'll slide it into position aligning the insulator tabs on the inside of the large flags and making sure that the two inner flags line up in the slots of the insulator of the main breaker pan. Now we'll secure the pan with two screws. For these two holes, we'll use the longer screws to go through three material thicknesses. Now we'll secure the rail extensions with two smaller screws. Next, we'll install the hard bus connectors one per face. Now we'll secure the hard bus connectors to the bus bars. Do not tighten them down all the way, leave them slightly loose. Next, we'll install the breaker. The breaker comes with lugs on both sides. We need to remove the lugs from one side to interface with the hard bus connectors. This requires a terminal nut kit, and this comes with the kit. This breaker will be installed in bottom feed orientation, so we need to remove the lugs on the load end of the breaker. This is done by engaging the lug pad assembly and prying it out of the breaker. The terminal nut kit has a nut on top, plastic on the bottom, and the rounded edge goes towards the inside of the breaker. It slides in just like this and snaps into place. Now we place the breaker on the mounting pan and we slide it onto the hard bus connectors. The flags that are part of the panel board engage into the notches of the breaker. Everything is now aligned. We now secure the breaker to the mounting pan with the two long screws that come in the kit. There are screw finder features in the mounting pan. If you wiggle the breaker slightly, it will find the hole.
Next, we need to connect the breaker to the hard bus connectors. We'll use the three bolts that came with the terminal nut kit. Now we tighten the connectors that connected the hard bus connectors to the bus bars. Now we use a torque wrench to tighten each connection to the specification that's stated in the instruction manual. The next step is to install the dead front mounting brackets. These are installed five and a half inches off the end of the rail. This puts it on the fourth small hole off the end. The dead front mounting brackets have two holes, one on each end. One is larger, that's a through hole. That's the one that mounts to the rail. The top of the bracket should face in towards the inner part of the panel board, just like the other dead front brackets. The next step is to modify the dead front assembly to install the main breaker cover. In order to do this, we'll be removing the lug cover. You can reuse the two screws you just removed or use two new screws out of the kit. The last step is to install the main breaker label. 